in the name of Allah, Ahmed Hassanin with you. In this course, I will talk about the ring main unit and the medium voltage distribution cables calculations. All of us know that the electrical power system consists of three main parts. The first part is the generation system. The second part is the transmission system, which includes the transmission lines and high voltage substations. And the third or the last part of the electrical power system is the distribution system. It is clear to us through the name of the course that I will talk in detail about the medium voltage distribution system. Does this mean that the distribution system has nothing to do with the generation system or the substation system? Of course not. Because the most important part of the electrical power system is the distribution system. Because the generation stations and the high voltage substations have a simple medium and low voltage distribution system through the distribution transformers located in these stations. Distribution transformers feed different station loads such as lighting, fans and all low voltage loads so it becomes clear to us the importance of the distribution system within the electrical power system. In this course, I will talk in detail about introduction. In this introduction, I will talk about the last part of the distribution system which is related to feeding low voltage loads, whether domestic loads or single phase loads and industrial loads or workshop and three phase loads. And how the electrical power system supplies the different loads with single phase and three phase voltage. In addition, we will know that the connection part between the low voltage loads and the medium voltage distribution, distribution network is the distribution transformer. And through the distribution transformer, we can obtain low voltages whether single phase or three phase. I will also talk about how high voltage substations supply the distribution transformers with the medium voltage. In addition, I will tell you what is the beginning of the distribution network and is the high voltage substation a part of the distribution network or not? I will talk about the components of the distribution network. I will talk about the importance of the power transformers inside the high voltage substations for the distribution network. I will talk about the importance of the medium voltage switch gear inside the high voltage substations for the distribution network. Remember that these medium voltage switch gears are inside the high voltage substations, not just inside the distribution network. We have medium voltage switch gear inside the high voltage substation. The first question. Is this medium voltage switch gear within the distribution system or not? The second question Where is the incoming cell or incoming feeder that feeds all the outgoing feeders with medium voltage and how does it do this? For example, we have a step down power transformer with a voltage ratio of 66 kilovolt to 11 kilovolt. We see the 66 kilovolt circuit breaker on the primary side and the 11 kilovolt circuit breaker on the secondary side of the power 
transformer. Through the single lane diagram, we see the 11 kilovolt circuit breaker, which is the which is the outgoing of the power transformer. Also, we see the 11 kilovolt incoming feeder, which feeds the medium voltage switch gear or the outgoing feeders with the medium voltage of 11 kilovolt. Let's ask an important question. Is the medium voltage incoming cell or incoming feeder separated from the other outgoing feeders as shown in the single line diagram or with a different arrangement like the previous medium voltage switch gear photo? I will talk about this point in detail. I will talk about the main components of the medium voltage distribution network. We see many kiosk transformers in the distribution system and we will know how they are connected to each other. In addition, I will talk about how the medium voltage distribution networks are connected to the high voltage medium voltage substation. We often hear about some technical terms such as primary distribution substations and secondary distribution substations. What is the difference between them? We see on the right side three substations and on the left side two substations. When can we see? When can we say that this substation is the primary distribution substation and the other is the secondary distribution substation? I will talk about this point in detail in my course. Also, I will talk about the main components of the QSIC transformers. In this lecture, I will talk about the main components of the QSIC transformers and how is and how is the connection between the different QSIC transformers is within the medium voltage distribution system or distribution network. We see two medium voltage incoming feeders in red colors, which feed two medium voltage switch gears named bus bar 1 and bus bar 2. The two medium voltage switch gear bus bar 1 and bus bar 2 feed all QSIC transformers in the ring distribution system. So, we must know that the ring distribution system is a group of QSIC transformers connected to each other by medium voltage cables. We will know that, we will know that what is the meaning of QSIC transformers, distribution transformers, compact substations, and package substations. Anyone making a design or executive a medium voltage project will meet and deal with these technical terms. I will talk about the construction and the components of the QSIC transformer, which consists of three main parts, and we will know the importance of each part. We see a QSIC transformer, and I will explain it in detail. I will talk about the ring distribution system. As we see, I replaced and put the distribution transformers instead of the acoustic transformers. What does it mean? I will talk about the main components of the ring main unit. I will talk about the place and the main function of the ring main unit in the medium voltage distribution system. We must know that the ring main unit is the most important part of the medium voltage distribution system 
and without this part we cannot make a ring distribution system or make a connection between the distribution transformers I will talk about the main components and the parts of the ring main unit and the relation between it and the distribution transformer and how can we make a connection between them we have different seven types of ring main unit for different companies like ABB type and I will talk about some technical specifications of these types in addition I will attach the seven catalogs of these types I will talk about the main technical problems and the wrong and critical technical calculations related to ring main unit and the ring distribution system design and calculations in addition I will explain how to know the maximum number of distribution transformers within the ring distribution system I will talk about the difference between the circuit breaker load break switch and isolating switch we see an example of these types and we know that the main function of these types is to switch on and off the electrical current but what is the difference between them I will talk about the different types of load break switches I will talk in detail about the ring distribution system I will explain the importance of the normally open switch and what what will happen if we close all switches in the ring distribution system I will talk about the most important problems in the ring and radial distribution systems if any fault occurs in the ring distribution system how can we repair this fault or what are the correct steps to repair this fault in a short time to ensure the continuity of the electrical power to the loads and consumers I will talk about the main components of the radial distribution system and what is the difference between it and the ring distribution system I will talk in detail about how can we calculate the correct medium voltage cables that we use in the ring system we have a ring distribution system consisting of 7 distribution transformers with 11 to 0.4 kilo volt this ring distribution system also has eight parts of medium voltage cables with lenses as shown in the figure we feed this ring through to medium voltage switch gear of 11 kilo volt also we have the rated power of each distribution transformer in megavolt ampere as shown in the figure through the previous data of the ring system in detail and step by step I will explain how to calculate the total load current of this ring system also I will explain how to calculate the load current that will flow through each part or each media voltage cable of the ring system also in detail and step by step I will explain how to calculate the total thermal current of this ring system and how to calculate the thermal current of each media voltage cable of the ring system in addition we will know the technical difference between load current and thermal current calculations I will talk about the importance of the derating factors to calculate the thermal current of these medium voltage cables or any electrical power cables in general in addition I will tell you and explain the factors that 
that are related to the thermal current calculations like ground temperature, cable depth, multi-core or single-core cables, and the insulation of the cable is the cross-linked polyethylene XLBE or PVC insulation. I will use the LCD company catalog to tell you and explain how to calculate and choose the correct rating factors through the different tables as shown in order to calculate the thermal current of any cables. I will talk about the importance of using the rating factors for any electrical current calculations and we must know the problems that will happen and meet us in case of not using these rating factors in any electrical calculations. After making the load current and thermal current calculations, we will know how to choose the correct cross-section area of the medium voltage cables of all parts of the ring system. In the third section, I will explain how to calculate the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and the total voltage drop for the ring system. In the fourth or the last section, I will explain how to know and calculate the short circuit current that the medium voltage cable can withstand at any fault or any short circuit. I will tell you and explain the difference between the calculations of voltage drop for the ring system and radial system. In detail and step by step, I will explain two important methods for calculating the medium voltage cables of the ring system. In the first method and in detail and step by step, I will start by calculating the load current and thermal current for the medium voltage cables of the ring system. In the second step of the first method, I will calculate the voltage drop. As we see in the figure, in detail and step by step, I will calculate the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and the total voltage drop for the ring system. In the last step of the first method, I will explain how to know and calculate the short circuit current that the medium voltage cable can withstand at any fault or any short circuit. In addition, and in detail, I will explain the second method for calculating the medium voltage cables of the ring system. Don't forget that in the first method, I will start by calculating the load current and thermal current for the medium voltage cables of the ring system. However, in the second, in the second method, I will start by calculating the short circuit current that the medium voltage cable can withstand at any fault. In addition, I will explain the difference between the first steps in each method. In the second step of the second method, I will explain how to calculate the load current and thermal current for the medium voltage cables of the ring system. In the last step of the second method, I will calculate the voltage drop. As we see in the figure, in detail and step by step, I will calculate the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and the total voltage drop for the ring system. We must know that the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and the total voltage drop for the ring system are not the same values as the first method. 
So I will explain the difference between the voltage drop calculation in each method. I will explain the difference between method 1 and method 2 for calculating the medium voltage cables of the ring system. As we see, the upper figure is related to the calculation, the calculation method number 1, which means a summary of the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system. And also we see the total voltage drop for the ring system which equals 317 volt or 2.9 percent. The lower figure is related to the calculation method number 2 which means a summary of the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system. And also we see the total voltage drop for the ring system which equals 349 volt or 3.2 percent. So I will explain the difference between each method and why the individual voltage drop for each part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and the total voltage drop are not the same value. I made an Excel sheet that has all the previous voltage drop calculations and in a very easy way anyone can deal with these tables and change any data according to its project. In the first table I will explain how to use this table to make the voltage drop calculations for any single phase load for any cable. In the second table, I will explain how to use this second table to make the voltage drop calculations for the three phase load for any cable. In the third table, I will explain how to use this table to make the individual voltage drop for any part of the medium voltage cables of the ring system and how to make the total voltage drop for any ring system with any numbers and the values of distribution transformers and any numbers of medium voltage cables. Also, I will explain how to change any data in this table according to your project. In addition, I will attach this Excel sheet with my course. Thank you.